You gonna come up? I don't think so. Not tonight. Oh, come on. They're expecting you. Well, I, you know I'm not very big on clubs, Jan. Listen, it's just the office group. They're marvelous people. You'll have a marvelous time. Please try to understand. I just don't feel like it. Honey, I dragged you out of that jerkwater town back home so that you get a little fun out of life. I know. L look, you're my best friend. You always will be, and I know you're only trying to get me to come out of my shell. <laughs> but you just have to be patient with me. Okay, Beth. But you don't know what you're missing. Oh, uh... Would you take a cab home and leave the car for me? Okay. I'll see you back at the apartment. Hello? Janet? No, she's not here. Oh. Who's calling, please? Uh, it's Beth Daniels. I'm Janet's roommate. I... I'm not sure she came home last night. Her bed wasn't slept in, and, and I... She's not here. I was just about to call you and see if you could come up and take her place this morning, just until she gets here. I, I've never worked in an, an executive office. Well, there'll just be some typing and filing. Come on up, will you? All right.
Come on in, dear. You've never met the whole gang, have you? No, I don't think so. Well, come along. Let me introduce you. This is Al Gordon, and that's Dana Case and Bill Johnson, Beth Daniels. Say, how'd you manage to stay buried down in the steno pool? Well, I, I haven't been here very long. You're here now, and we're not going to let you go even when Janet shows up. I, I don't know where she could be. I, I don't understand it. Hey, listen. Just because she didn't come home last night doesn't necessarily mean something bad happened to her. Well, she would have called me. Let me know. She's never done anything like this before. Come to think of it, she did look kind of funny when she walked into the club meeting last night. She said she wasn't feeling well and left early. A car still in the parking lot. Well, that cuts it. I'm going to call the police. What could have happened to her? I don't know, Beth, but I'm sure she'll be all right. We mustn't get ahead of ourselves and start dreaming up all sorts of terrible things. Beth, right? Yes, that's right. I heard about Janet. She still hasn't shown up. No. The police were here. They asked a lot of questions. Well, I'm sure she'll be okay. I hope so. She's my best friend. I know, she told me. She's very fond of you. Uh, we're from the same small town. I don't think I would have had courage to leave if she hadn't written to me. I'm afraid I'm not very experienced. Oh, don't worry about it. Neither am I. They just promoted me to this job. We can bungle through together. <laughs> you busy for lunch? Well, no, uh, but... 12.30. All right. Are you all right, Beth? Yes. What happened? You passed out. So we brought you home. Something. That hand. Black dog. Nothing here but us. You're under a lot of stress. This whole thing with Janet. Maybe we should call a doctor. No, I'm all right. I just feel so tired. Just relax. Get some sleep. We're going to stay here and keep an eye on you, so there's nothing to worry about. You're perfectly safe with us here. Nothing's going to hurt you. Nothing. Just go to sleep. Relax. And sleep. 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 Sleep, 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 sleep.
I didn't mean to frighten you. I guess I'm kind of jumpy. We were just taking a break. I overslept. I'm sorry I'm late. Feeling better this morning? Yes, very much, thank you. You just needed a little rest. Have you heard anything from the police? All they'll say is that they're working on it. Something terrible has happened. I know it. Now, Beth, don't. I can't help it. I, I'm frightened to death. All, all the things that have been happening. It's just your imagination. Sure. A thing like this can cause it to work overtime. I remember an accident I was in once on the freeway. I saw cars coming at me for weeks afterwards. It'll all pass in time, Beth. But what about Janet? Where is she? What has happened to her? <laughs> come here. Janet was always saying at home how she felt bottled up. When she left and got a job here, I... I came. It gave me enough courage to leave. My parents died when I was young, and... I was staying with my aunt, and Janet knew how lonely I was, so she... I don't mean to rattle on. Lean on us, Beth. We want you to. Oh, sure. It's the whole purpose of our club, to help each other. We want you to be one of us. We're very close, Beth. None of us has any strong ties outside the group. It's like the family you've never had. I don't know if I'd fit in. Of course you would. When we don't meet here after hours, we meet at Dana's house, on Miller Drive, 315. We talk and share things. Important things that interest all of us. Will you come to a meeting, Beth? Will you? I don't know. Please, Beth. Please come. I'll think about it. Good. Remember, 315 Miller Drive. what's been happening. Janet disappearing like that. It's strange dreams. Janet is gonna be just fine. And someone once said, 
Dreaming permits each and every one of us to go quietly and safely insane every night of our lives. It's a release, that's all. I know what my Aunt Faye would say. What? That I am possessed. Where she grew up, they still believe in all those things. Witchcraft and devil worship. Well, they hang on to a lot of that stuff in some remote places. I guess, you know, it helps them explain the unknown. But this is the big city. We know that hallucinations are caused by drugs and booze and stress and smog. Especially smog. I wish I could dismiss it all that easily. I just can't help feeling that... That what? That whatever happened to Janet is going to happen to me. That small town I come from is beginning to look awfully good to me. Hey, give it a few more days. I don't think I can. In a day or two, the police are going to have some word about Janet, right? And in the meantime, I am going to try my very best to make you feel welcome here. Starting tonight, OK? OK.
Take it easy now. Oh, Everything's geez. all right. Easy now, easy. The car smashed. I, I, I went in the house. Yeah, nothing's gonna hurt you now, I promise. I saw them. The toad. Come on, let's get you home. They were chanting like witches. They? Who? Mary. Dana. The others from the office. Are you sure? Yes, it was them. I'll be right back. No. You can't go in there. We've got to get out. Okay, okay, just try to relax now. No, I was there. I was coming here to pick you up. I saw you run out of the house in a panic, get in the car, so I followed you. Almost lost you a couple of times, too. You were driving like... Like I was possessed. Let's not start that again, please, Beth. I was possessed. Or the car was. It was horrible. That house, those people. Look, whatever you saw must have been some kind of illusion. No. No, it was real. You've got to believe me. It wasn't like a cellar. It was a... a black room. I'd like to believe you, Beth, but I know these people. They're perfectly normal. Maybe you just don't want to believe me. Maybe you're a part of it, one of them. Beth, don't, please. That's it, isn't it? You're a witch, too. No, I'm not. And they're not. You're upset and you're imagining things. How do I know I can trust you? 
How do I know you're not one of them? Beth, listen to me. If you're not one of them, you'll help me get out of here. Let me go home. Not now. You're in no condition to travel. You see? You see, you won't let me go.
would have true wisdom, Beth, must seek it from the devil. The devil? The devil. The devil. The devil. The devil. No! The devil. The devil. The devil. You're gonna have to find out. How? By going back there. Where? To the office. I can't. I can't ever go back there. We have got to, both of us. But what if it's real, Keith? What if the fantasies and the nightmares are real? What can we do? They must have Janet. They must have done something to Janet. We've got to help her. We will. Tomorrow, we're going back there. I'm afraid. So am I. got to. Remember, they have no idea that we suspect them. Good morning, Beth. Good morning. Hi, Beth. Have you heard from Janet? No. Good morning, Beth. Would you like some coffee? No, thank you. Any word from the police? Nothing. I'll see you later. Join us, Beth. Join our coven. Join us and ask what you will. Riches, honor, glory. You can have them all. No. Join us and love the spirits of hell and those who reign in the air, for they alone can make us happy in this life. Beth? 
I know all about him. You know? I know what they're trying to do, and I, and I want to help you. Where, where, where were you? I, I was hiding. I had to hide from them up here on the 13th floor. But how? Listen, where? listen. Don't ask questions. There isn't time. Now, you've got to do exactly as I tell you. I'll try. Listen, they're coming. Quick, this way. Now, Beth, listen to me. You've got to do exactly as I tell you, no matter what happens. Do you understand? Yes. Uh, Janet. What is it? What's wrong? Throw that door. And don't look back. No matter what. Now. moment when your death will bring triumph and joy to the master. Listen. Listen. By dying at our hands, you can be returned to Earth by Satan to be a leader of a legion of lesser demons. A great honor. Please, Jack. This group has your new sponsors. No. Will you make a gift of clothing to the devil? No. Will you include your name in the book of death? No. Will you
Will you promise to sacrifice your children to the devil? No. 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 Astaroth. Asmodeus. Master of slanders, dispenser of the benefits of crime, administrator of luxurious sins and great vices, accountant of humiliations and treasure of old hatreds, hope of virility, king of the disinherited, I conjure thee. I conjure thee, Asmodeus, to weaken the resistance of this innocent and accept her as a sacrifice which I offer in return for what I ask, that you grant my followers glory, riches, and power. <gasps> They would have killed me. It's all over now. It's all over. 